Okay, today uh, uh, this topic uh, sorry I do walk around first uh, I need to take out all the the lures uh, the lures. Okay, I'm gonna take out all the lures because uh, Terence Terence uh, did a shout out to me and tell me to explain what lures to use. Okay, so let's talk about the normal pickup bass fishing and the kind of lures that we have uh, uh, to use lah. Okay, so basically if you okay these are some of my second hand lures lah. Okay, normally those lures ah, those lures ah, with a beep, beep is this, okay? They are normally a mino, mino, okay? But if this beep ah get longer ah, this beep get longer, they will call it a crank bait, okay? It's over here. They will call it a crank bait. Okay, so let's explain about the beeps first, okay? Let's explain about the beeps first. So those that is new for lower fishing, you realize that the beep right actually is the one that push the water and create the wobbling. Without the beep, you re don't really have the wobble. So the longer the beep, ah, the deeper the lure go. Okay? And uh, sometimes they purposely make the beep a bit wider. It's because they want to prevent the sanko. They want to be able to bounce off the rocks and all those things. So normally, these are like crankbaits. They go deep. Okay? So a lot of people don't dare use this because it's in Singapore, it's very easy to sanko. But people use this for grouper. And actually, if you go for boat fishing in, for snake heads, ah, uh, crankbaits are very effective because normally when the babies are uh, the fry, the baby toman babies fry on top, uh, the mother is below. So you need the crankbait to get to the right depth for them to bite. So crankbaits are still effective for different kind of fishing. Okay. So we go back to our minos. Okay, so this is Mino. Mino with a short beep. So normally we don't call this crankbaits. Okay, so Minos come in different kinds. It comes with a floating. Sinking, suspending. Of course, sinking, they fast sinking, slow sinking, uh, slow floating, all these things. But let's just put in three. Three means uh, spinning, uh, blah, 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 blah. floating, uh, suspending, and uh, sinking. Okay? So they come with different weights, lah, of course. So uh, normally in the sea, uh, people will use uh, the sinking and heavy sinking because they want to go for tingiri, GT, and all these things. People will use the mino that is heavier. If people go for like... Uh, Kimak Law, uh, Bar Baramandi, Barracuda, uh, people will try to use floating because normally these fishes, they are more on the mid water, top water. They are not on the deep water. But if you want to go for grouper, uh, you, you have to use the crankbait. You don't use the minnows because you have to go down and hit the rocks. So, and um, let's say you want to go for uh, fishes in the mid water to the top water. Uh, then you go for floating minnows or you don't need the lure to sink so much. You won't go for sinking. Sinking has good and bad lah because the water is too shallow. Sinking very fast and go. Okay. Okay. The rare, the most rare one is actually suspending. Okay. So uh, for suspending, okay, let me share with you. Okay. We have this uh, Serbia. Serbia, uh, what is it called? Slim Puncher. Okay. So why am I, why do I want to talk about suspending? Because suspending very hard to get in the market. But the good thing about suspending lures, right, is that uh, suspending lures, uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at it, uh, you must not change the hook. Eh. You must not change the hook. Okay, why do I say so? Because suspending lures, uh, by right, you cast, uh, they're supposed to slow sink. Or you, you cast already, they're supposed to slow sink. Then once you twitch, right, you stop. Uh, it's supposed to stay there. It's not sink very, very slowly. That's why they call it suspending. Suspending lures are very effective uh, for twitching. For twitching, uh, for pickup bass fishing. Okay, so when you twitch, you pause, uh, the lure will jerk, boom, then the lure stop, uh, the big mama will come. Then you twitch, boom, because the floating one, when you twitch, you will float up. After you pause, uh, you float up. The sinking one, you twitch, you will sink. But the suspending will stay. But you see, they test the lure with the original hooks. That's why it suspend. So sometimes you buy already, you change to a heavier hook. It doesn't suspend anymore, you will just sink. Okay, so for suspending lures, you have to buy those that gives good hooks. Uh. So they don't need to change the hook and it suspend because you buy those that the hook not so good, then you change it, it becomes sinking, then no point. Okay. Then the next lures that we will talk about, right, is like vibes. Okay, just now I was holding on these vibes. Vibes, right? You realize vibes got no beep one. Just now the Mino they got a long beep. Vibes they got no beep. Okay, vibes are, are, are lures that I think very, very little people use in Singapore because they scared sanko. Okay, what, what is sanko? Sanko is they they hook the lure on the on the bottom la, then cannot pull out, then the line snap la, they lost their lures. So for for um vibes ah, I like it very much. Vibes mainly ah, vibes make a lot of noise. So vibes 
actually big up bass like noise lah, they like rattle. Okay, so vibes there's different kind of vibes. Some sing slow, some sing fast, but most of the vibes sings. There's only a few vibes in the market that floats. Okay, so I have something like this Daiwa, uh, Morendo Turbulen. Ah, uh, this is a floating vibe. Okay, so so there's very little vibes that float lah. Most of the vibes sings. Okay. And then different vibes got different rattle. Means some got one, some very loud, some very little, some got tungsten sound. There's very, very different kind. Ah. Some very small. Okay, like this one we have the Norris, they have a tungsten. So low, very bass. Some is a rubber or silicon. No sound. No sound, okay? But they normally vibes are what you call it vibe. Vibe is a short form for vibration. So vibes will actually vibrate like that. I don't know if you can see they will vibrate. They won't go like that, lah. They'll vibrate like that. So vibes are good, right? If you if you do the down zigzag motion. So normally on normally like you use high grounds, it will be very good. High grounds, or you go for salt water, you crank very, very fast. The pelagics love it. So normally they sing, then you pull out, sing, pull out, sing, pull out, sing, pull out. So this is the zigzag motion that people play with vibes. Um, you can also use the 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 jerk and drop, jerk and drop motion. It's still a zigzag motion. It's just how long you pull the zigzag motion. So vibe also effective. Uh, we try to bring in all the cheaper vibes uh, because vibe is easier to sango because get sango right. So we bring in all the vibes that is cheaper. They are all about 15 or 12 or 10, some even less than 10. Okay, so these are another type. Then the last one that I want to talk about is the top water. Top water. Okay, so top water uh, lures. Why we talk about top water? Because top water uh, is something very interesting. Because you work the lure on the top water, on the water, you can see the lure move. This is the only kind of lures that you can see the lure move. Popper, top water, stick bait, all this thing. Then suddenly the fish come, boom! Wow, see, song. Okay. But you see, the thing about top water is that you want to use top water lures, uh, you try to use it on shallower waters. Uh, deep waters can, but the chances is lower. So shallower water is easier. Or the water is clearer, also easier, lah, maybe. Yeah, so uh, the lures that normally people use for pickup bars uh, will be stick bait. Stick bait means you have to do the walk or dog action, like tuk, 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 Not the popper. Popper, actually, last time a lot of people use. Now I see, hardly see people use because now if the last time people use for snake heads, they are pop, pop, pop. The snake head will come pop, but now snake head all very scared. I don't know why. So even for top water, snake head also a bit scared lah nowadays. So but the good thing about top water lure is if you really know where to use it lah in shallower waters or near to weeds, you cast at the pocket of weeds, you work, tuk 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 pop. The adrenaline is there lah. So some people are really pure top water lovers. They will just go for top waters. Top waters also got difference like got rattle, no rattle, one rattle, few rattle. So actually the sound rattle right is a very big part of the whole lure fishing. Different rattles on different days the fish will take. Uh, to me, I, I, I don't believe like the fish only take this. Sometimes the fish take that, sometimes the fish take this. It really depends on the weather, the wind, uh, everything. Uh, a lot of factors. So um. Top water, the good thing why people like to use is won't sound good lah, provided you can cast on the tree lah, you know. So, top water is a, to me, is a, many people willing to pay a lot more expensive for it because it won't sound good, yeah. But anyway, uh, top water lures, I would say that nowadays, if you go for smaller top water lures, you will get better hits lah. Because it's very overfished and for pickup bass, we catch and release. So, they learn... Uh, very well. So if you go for smaller ones with sound, the pickup bars love it. Uh, nowadays, really, really, you don't really see people using so much top water for Toman in Singapore. But in overseas, you still see people use it. And there's some things we call it the bass baits with the propeller. Okay, I don't really have a very good... Uh, I don't really have a bass bait here. Wait, let me see if I have a bass bait here. Okay, I don't really have a bass bait here. I only have a spinner bait here. Okay, um, I have one that, that is not like the bass bait, bass bait lah. So this kind of lures with the propeller that goes on the water, then when you crank, the propeller will, will just move and brrrr, those we call it bass baits. Then these are spinner baits. So this one we won't touch on it lah. Very little people use also, but these are very good for snake heads nowadays. That's why you can see the Thailand word. We buy these for snake heads. 
so basically uh, there's a there's a propeller here instead of a spinner so bus baits are supposed to work on the top water and they first do splashes in a propeller way like brrrr, instead of the brum 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 or tuck 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 they do the brrrr, it's like a barber propeller like your jet ski that kind of brrrr, you know so uh, these are one of some of the top water baits so top water they have different categories you know some on some um, they make different sound some even they are weedless if you use like a uh, rubber frog weedless frogs okay we have the weedless frogs where is it uh okay wait wait, wait. ah here okay so for weedless frogs ah huh? okay for weedless frogs right okay this this kind of lures are uh, they have some technique one in japan ah uh, this kind of lures normally is buckless meaning the hook got no buck and normally the hook is facing up very hard to show you all here okay i don't know if you can see it but anyway these are for working on those very weedy places for snake heads sometimes pick up bars will take lah but not so easy to hook them up provided the hookup is very good so uh, these are for weedless places okay so this is uh, just a rough explanation on the kind of lures how you work it okay um okay so the next part of this video right i will share with you more on how you work the lures so we we still have things like spoon jigs all these things there's still a lot of kind but this is the three main kind top water minnows crankbaits uh and vibes okay okay so in in luring uh, there's a few ways to work the lures some a lot of a lot of people they just cast and crank which cast and crank is not uh is the simplest way and and i would say that it's not effective but there's different ways so for luring you have to you have to uh, have variety and understand the kind of fish understand the terrain you have to try different things to see what works best so for example pickup bass they really like a lot of twitching so you twitch you twitch you twitch or you jerk twitching downwards twitching upwards is different from different kind of lures so you need to go and try whether this lure twitch upwards better or twitch downwards better or twitch sideways better then uh, some lures they need more pause so if you want to catch big pickup bars you realize that some pause pause twitch twitch your pause uh, will actually make the pickup bars come out and bite your lure but let's say you want to catch small pickup bars you just crank and keep twitching they also will take so there's variety so moving the rod motion twitching pause twitching pause is also a very important part in fishing for luring so like top water uh, for poppers actually in us they play with poppers they cast they pop they wait they wait until all the reaper gone then it pop again it's very very effective but need a lot of patience so these are some of the basic techniques of uh, luring i don't want to bore you with too much bullshit from me so thank you for watching and terence this is for you okay so this is how you play with lures and the different kind of lures why is it used in different terrains so just remember that uh, top water is not so easy because you really need shallower waters and the fish must be aggressive enough so besides that you have to know when to use a deeper lure like a crankbait with the beat is longer or mino where the beat is shorter then you need to do uh, normally like jerk baits are uh, those you jerk 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 uh, crankbaits people don't jerk one that's why they call it crankbait they just crank normally people don't don't jerk crankbait so they only jerk the minos or they jerk the uh, vibes where i told you the vibes go a zigzag I vroom, 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 okay so thank you for watching hit the subscribe button if you like my video and i see you in the next episode of red tackle tv bye bye